Today, I want to talk about the Indie World presentation we just had and specifically whether or not it gives us any kind of information as Nintendo fans on when to expect the next Nintendo Direct, because you might remember a big outstanding rumor was suggesting that we would get an Indie World presentation. The speculation was around the March timeframe, but then the claim was is that we should actually see that followed by a mainline traditional Nintendo Direct in April. This, of course, was coming to us from user Brazil over on Fami Boards, who gained a lot of notoriety, especially considering that they were the first source reporting on the internal delay for the Nintendo Switch 2 prior to VGC, Bloomberg, and all of the major publications running with this story and saying they have heard the same thing from their own independent sources. And with how strange of a year we've had so far in 2024 when it comes to new Nintendo Switch game announcements, it seems like maybe Nintendo would go off the beaten path because they technically already have considering that we only have a partner direct to look back at in terms of game announcements for their beginning of the year direct and historically February is always a mainline general Nintendo Direct at least nine times out of ten in the Nintendo Switch generation. That's clearly not the case this year. So I've seen a lot of talk and discourse online amongst Nintendo fans following the confirmation of the Indie World presentation that maybe a mainline April Direct is indeed a go. And I would say to that, not so fast. We're going to have to kind of calm down. And I believe we may indeed be waiting until June, but we'll unpack all the reasons why, one of which coming from the same source that actually was the original source for this April rumor to begin with. And we'll unpack all of the exact details. Before we do, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your bell notification to join Sunburn Nation if you're new here. And I want to start off this conversation by saying, when I did see this Indie World announcement, I just had the slightest bit of hope that maybe, yes indeed, we would see that April Nintendo Direct. But you might remember on the channel, we talked about the big update to that Nintendo Direct rumor, which had user Brazil, the one claiming that he had sources telling him that this thing was going to go down in April, that he was calling all of that into question because he believes all of that info may have been outdated at the time that he received it. And he also clarified that he had one source saying that there would be a mainline Direct in April and another source talking about the Indie World presentation ahead of that presentation already giving you kind of a reason to doubt that one is necessarily connected to the other and we've also seen some comments from Nate the Hate online following the Indie World announcement that one event is not hinging on the other and that April was always the planned date for this Indie World presentation suggesting that it really wasn't moved around internally behind the scenes kind of how Brazil may have been alluding to acting like there was you know, once a planned earlier Indie World and then a planned Direct following that. Nate the Hate specifically seems to have a very solid track record around the timing of these type of presentations due to their connections in the industry. And it leads me to believe that this was probably always the planned time frame for the Indie World and it doesn't necessarily signify that there is a full-blown mainline General Direct coming right after. Brazil even mentioned that his own sources would have likely heard about a mainline General Direct at this point in time when they posted this just a few days before the Indie World was officially announced. But again, one of event does not equal the other events. So while I would love to sit here and say that because we got an Indie World presentation, we got some new game announcements on that front, we should now be able to expect Nintendo to come out next with their first party mainline presentation. I don't actually think that that's the case and what we will necessarily be looking at in any way, shape or form. I actually think that we're going to have the lightest news cycle for a Nintendo calendar year for Nintendo Switch game releases that we've probably seen so far. It's not to say Nintendo will bring nothing Thing to our attention, but they are definitely going to go a longer distance than they have in history in the Nintendo Switch's life cycle, literally lasting from September of last year with their last mainline General Direct all the way to probably that June summer time frame for their next one. Now, that is even something you can't necessarily say is confirmed because there is no E3. There's really no obligation that says Nintendo has to hold a Direct in June. But even when E3 hasn't been around in years past, we've still seen them do a traditional summertime Direct. We know that Summer Game Fest is going on, and that's not a big industry event like E3 was necessarily, but it does have its own host of new game announcements. And there's a lot of other things still happening in the industry within the summertime just because historically it's always been that way. We're going to see Xbox and PlayStation both hold their traditional summertime showcases, and there's no reason to suspect that Nintendo will 
pass this up altogether. And the big question is, is do we know about new hardware before Nintendo's next mainline direct presentation? Because there's a lot of reason to believe that at this point in the Nintendo Switch's life cycle, many of the games that are coming out for the current hardware are going to continue to be this port and remaster treatment where we're getting recycled games with updated visuals and, you know, of course, some fan classics, some games that we want to have playable on the Switch, but not necessarily those new big heavy hitter games, those from the ground up fresh experiences. Those are more or less a thing of the past outside of, of course, Pokemon Legends ZA, we know to be a 2025 title that will also come to Nintendo Switch and Metroid Prime 4 that has yet to have any kind of gameplay trailer. Although there is some rumors that we could indeed see a marketing campaign kick off in May. This comes to us from Jeff Grubb, but he was very clear that he wasn't sure if that information was outdated, but he did give it a lot more credibility because at the Partner Direct, the source that was telling him that Metroid would be getting a big marketing campaign in May also confirmed to him that Epic Mickey Rebrushed was indeed a real project, and that was prior to anybody leaking that game, so it made him put a little bit more faith in that source, and that is the same source apparently saying that we would have some kind of May look or May kickoff for Metroid's bigger marketing plans, and that could be tied to a dedicated Direct. I don't necessarily think Nintendo comes out and does a Metroid Direct, like some have been speculating online. I rather think that maybe there's a chance that we do have an offbeat Nintendo Direct in May towards the end of the month is actually when we see the presentation, and we do get a shadow drop of Metroid Prime 2 and 3 in a combo pack, as well as that first look gameplay trailer for Metroid Prime 4, and it could be the case that Nintendo is positioning Metroid Prime 4 behind the scenes as the big holiday 2024 game and kind of the big send-off title for the Nintendo Switch generation before we gear up for the new hardware launch next year. But all of that to say, the Indie World presentation was okay. There was a few different games that I was kind of excited to see. I liked the Turtles games. The more of those we have that are throwback to the classic era, the better in my opinion. It is a roguelike, so it'll be interesting to see how that unfolds. Europa has a demo available right now that I still need to go check out, but that looks like a freaking awesome 3D action adventure platformer. Cat Quest 3, surprisingly enough, looks really interesting. There's that Souls-like crab game. There wasn't a lot to write home about for me personally, but it, it had some games that I'm at least, it has my interest peaked, but we are now at a point where we have had the partner direct, we have had the Indie World presentation, and I don't think that we're necessarily right around the corner from a mainline direct, but I do think we will see one in the first half of this year, or at least towards the end of June at the latest. I would be very surprised if Nintendo stayed radio silent on their first party Nintendo Switch software all the way up until September, but as I've been saying in many of these videos here, we can't necessarily look at Nintendo's track record and history throughout the Nintendo Switch generation this year because we are truly in uncharted territories and obviously the transitional year or at least the ramp down year of Nintendo Switch games as they shift gears to market and release games for their next generation hardware. But that's really where I want to hear from you guys at this point in the video, your personal thoughts and opinions on the Indie World presentation and whether or not you think it indicates that a mainline Nintendo Direct is indeed around the corner. Do you think that there's still a shot we see something from Nintendo from a first party perspective in April? Or are you like me and you think, yeah, the two sources were all, always separate on this event and likely the Nintendo Direct in April just isn't going to happen and we will be shifting our sights towards May or June at the soonest? And do you think that there will be some kind of big Metroid marketing campaign in May? Or do you think that we're all going to more or less be in the dark on first party Nintendo content until June at the soonest? Or do you think there's some kind of world where Nintendo waits all the way until September of this year to communicate with us fans around more of their first party software lineup? But regardless of your thoughts and feelings on everything we talked about today, I do look forward to hearing from you all in the comments down below before you leave the video, as I do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around these topics. Go watch the video on screen next if you haven't already. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, turn your notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.